Hi guys, so today I am going to be taking a personality test, okay? I don't know why I said it like that, personality. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to be taking a personality test because I want to really know my real personality, right? I really love personality tests because they give you an insight into the kind of person that you are. Of course, they are not a hundred percent accurate, but I mean, I feel like they have some science to back it up, okay? Mostly because it predicts your personality based on how you act, okay? And that is one reason why I don't like, uh, what they call that, the astrology, horoscopes, this one, y'all. How can you tell me that you're going to predict my actions based on when I was born, okay? For this personality um, test, they predict your personality based on your actions or based on the way you behave. So, today I'm going to be taking the Mayor's Briggs personality test, the 16 personalities type test okay i also want to take personality tests for my kids i want to see if my kids can out can also you know take personality tests so i'll know how to handle each of my kids differently i already have an idea a general idea of the of my kids personalities okay eva is more on the quiet side and the more reserved the more introspective type while cora is the more extroverted you know i don't call her loud but it's kind of loud you know she's the loud you know <laughs> like this eva is more like me and her father but cora is more like you know my mom anyway so um for sophia sophia is in fact sophia is even older than cora but we'll see as she grows older but for now let us get into my own okay so this is the free personality test okay like i said it's not a hundred percent accurate but i really love to know what it gives me okay so the first one is you regularly make new friends i would say kind of disagree i don't really make new friends i miss people but i don't become like friends friends with them i just miss people and that's it like we vibe we just i like to define what we have so i won't call them friends the people that i vibe and just with are not my friends so yeah then the next one is you spend a lot of your free time exploring various random topics that pique your interest i a 100 percent a 100 percent i 100 percent agree i do it a lot if you go through my search history it is just all over the place i research everything and anything and anyhow seeing other people cry can easily make you feel like you want to cry um i'll say yeah i somewhat agree you usually stay calm even under a lot of pressure um somewhat agree somewhat agree i'm calm most of the time but when it comes to my kids, I'm not really calm under pressure. <laughs> I try to be, but I'm not really calm under pressure. But in every other situation, I'm the kind of person that when I'm under pressure, I'm always like, actually, let me go to, let me agree a little more. Yeah, let me agree, agree a little more. Because when I'm under pressure, my reaction is more like introspective, calmness. I want to like figure things out without even talking. Like I hate to be talking to me when I'm under pressure. Like don't talk to me. I don't talk to anybody. I just, just want to figure things out myself. So the next one is at social events, you rarely try to introduce yourself to new people and mostly talk to the ones you already know. Yes, I agree. I agree. Not strongly I agree, but I agree, okay? Depends on the social event, but most times I try to talk to people I already know, okay? So, yeah, I somewhat strongly agree. Then the next one is, you prefer to completely finish one project before... No, 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 no. I do not finish projects. I start one, it annoys me, I jump to the next, and that one annoys me, I jump to the next. I don't do that, okay? <laughs> So I disagree a lot. You're very sentimental. No, I disagree. I'm not, not, uh, to an extent I am, but not, nah, I'm not. You like to use organizing tools like schedules and lists. Yes, I totally agree. Even a small mistake can cause you to doubt your overall abilities and knowledge. No, not really. Um, it depends. Not really. Yeah, so I disagree. Let me not do strongly. You feel comfortable just walking up to someone you find interesting and striking up a conversation. Disagree? No, I'm not like that at all. I know be like that at all. <laughs> I, I, I can do it, but I'm not comfortable doing it. I'm just, I cringe inside. I faint several times inside and I just do it because I have to. But if I don't have to, I won't do it. Okay, you are not too interested in discussing various interpretations and analysis of creative works. No, I am very, very inter interested, so I disagree. You are not too interested, so I disagree. I'm actually very interested in discussing various interpretations and analysis of creative works. I mean, I studied English. If you guys know anything about English, I studied English. I did fine arts in secondary school. I still love art. I love to 
understand and interpret and analyze creative works, okay? You are more inclined to follow your head than your heart. Yes, yes, I agree. Not strongly agree, but I, yeah, I, I do agree. <laughs> I will say, follow your head. Or, hey, keep your heart for one side, my dear. Especially when it comes to relationship and love. Keep your heart to one side. You usually prefer just doing what you feel like at any given moment instead of planning a particular daily routine. I kind of agree. Yeah, I can. I say, do I strongly agree? I actually, I actually don't like routine. So let me say, I strongly agree. I actually don't like routine, even though I try to follow a routine. I really don't like routine. Like I want to be free to do what I want to do at any given moment. Okay. You rarely worry about whether you make a good impression on people that you meet. I rarely worry. Yeah, I rarely worry about that. Um, I won't say strongly, but I really worry about that. I'm, I'm amazing, okay? I'm amazing. I'm awesome. Like, I know myself. I know that when you meet me, you're going to love me. So, I'm, I really don't worry. I know I have a good... <laughs> Let me start hyping myself. But I know that I have a good... I'm a good person, okay? Ah, that sounds very cringy. Okay, but I know that I have good manners. Let me put it that way. So, I don't worry about people... I don't worry about my first impression or making a good impression. So you enjoy participating in group activities. Yes, I agree. I prefer group. Ah, well, do I, uh, well, I kind of agree. I kind of agree. Um, no, actually, I don't agree. Do I really like? That's the thing about this test, right? If you're not careful, you're going to be ticking things you think you are not really what you are. So do I really enjoy participating in group activities? Not really. So let me just do let me just be neutral, okay? You like books and movies that make you come up with your own interpretation of the ending. Yes! 100 percent yes you don't want to watch a movie with me okay my husband complains a lot but i'm like you love me so you have to sit here and listen to my analysis of who the killer is i need to i need to let you know that i know who the killer is <laughs> you know so yes okay the next one is your happiness comes more from helping others accompl accomplish things than your own accomplishments Actually, I agree. Let me not say strongly I agree, but I agree. And I realized this about myself even more recently. You are interested in so many things that you find it difficult to choose what next to try. 100% agree. Like, if you know me, you know that that is 100% true. You are prone to worrying that things will take a turn for the worse. Um, am I not really? Yeah, I think it depends on what. So let me just say, I slightly disagree. I don't know. Um, nah, not really. You avoid leadership roles, roles in group settings. Not really, funny enough. Do I? I don't know. I don't avoid, but I'm not going to be the first to volunteer. But if it is given to me, of which sometimes, I don't know, a lot of times, people actually see things that I'm good in leadership roles. So when they give it to me, I take it all, but I'm not going to volunteer. I say I want to be the leader. I'm not always the one in front, you know, making things happen, except I am called to make things happen and then I make things happen. I actually prefer making things happen from behind the scenes, okay? So the next one is you are definitely not an artistic type of person. I 100% disagree. I am definitely an artistic type of person. You think the world would be a better place if people relied more on rationality and less on their feelings. Yes, 100% yes. You prefer to do your chores before allowing yourself to relax. I disagree. I disagree. I'm sorry. I disagree. <laughs> I disagree. Why I say I disagree is that sometimes doing my chores is actually what I consider as relaxing. Okay? Not work now, okay? Chores, folding clothes, arranging clothes, washing plates, cleaning, and all those and things like that. I consider them relaxation. So let me just say I decide. Let me not do strongly. Let me just say slightly disagree. Okay. Then the next one is you enjoy watching people argue. Constructive arguments, logical arguments. Yes, I agree. I enjoy watching people argue debates. Okay, I enjoy watching people debate. Even if not debating, even if it's just normal arguments, but you're arguing with salient, reasonable, logical points. I love it. But when you're doing your math, you're stupid, you're crazy, you're idiot. Ah, God, that one irritates me. So, yes, I 100% agree. You tend to avoid drawing attention to yourself. Yes, I 100% agree. Like, I avoid it like a plague. I don't like drawing attention to myself, which is funny because I'm on YouTube. But yeah, in person, in reality, I don't like it. If I could do YouTube without showing my face, I would. Totally would, okay? Your mood can change very quickly. 
No. Can my mood change very quickly? No. Mood? No, I disagree. Let me say slightly sharp because I'm a woman, hormone, hormonal issues and stuff like that can come up sometimes. But my mood doesn't just change so quickly. I'm more of someone that floats in the middle, right? I don't really have extreme mood. So you rarely see me extremely happy or extremely sad. I'm somewhere in the middle. So I just go slightly up, slightly down. So yeah. You often end up doing things at the li oh wait, did I, what did I choose here? Okay, you lose patience with people who are not as efficient as you. I agree, even though I'm working on it. I agree. I don't like slow people. I don't like people that are not working fast. Even walking, people that walk slowly, it irritates me. Remember, walking slowly or walking slowly or not working in an efficient way. Okay, when there's an efficient way of doing things, I'm those kind of, I'm that kind of person that will be irritated. I just be like. Just do it this way. Stop it. <laughs> you always have been fascinated by the question of what and if anything happens after death. Um, not really, because I think I know what happens after death. So not really. The Bible is there to tell us what's happened, what happens after death. So I'm not really fascinated by that. So I'll say slightly disagreeing. You usually prefer to be around others rather than be on your own. I 100% disagree. I love being by myself. I love myself. <laughs> I am my own best company. Like, I love myself. In fact, let me not even go into that, okay? You become bored or lose interest when the discussion gets highly theoretical. I 100% disagree. I actually love theoretical um, conversations, you know, and stuff like that. So, I disagree. You find it easy to empathize with a person whose experiences are very different from yours. I 100% agree. When I try to put myself in other people's shoes, even though, yes, I, I can't relate, I can't relate, but I try to understand how things happen for other people. Like, I just try to put myself, like, if I was this person, how would I feel in this kind of situation? Even when the person is annoying me, that's what makes me tolerate people a lot because I try to empathize with them. It's not always a good thing, but yeah, I try. You usually postpone finalizing decisions for as long as possible. Mm, no, I'm actually a little bit impulsive. So I'll say I slightly disagree. I'm actually a little bit impulsive. After a long, exhausting week, a lively social event is just what you need. No, I 100% disagree. <laughs> When I have a long and exhausting week, what I want to do is just be by myself, eat, watch series, watch a movie, relax, sleep. I don't want social events. I just attend social events because I have to, not because I want to. You rarely feel insecure. Yes, I agree. Let's say 100%. Um, I rarely feel insecure. Um, I have insecurities, but I rarely feel insecure. Like... But let me just say slightly agree. I have insecurities, but I'm not someone who walks around saying, oh, why are you looking at me? Oh, please. I'm all that plus more, please. Okay. No that and no peace. <laughs> okay. You avoid making phone calls. I hunt, in fact, if there's any, any option around here, I'm going to choose it. I hate making phone calls. Please don't call me. Can we just chat it? Okay. I only make phone calls with people that I really, really love. My close friends, you know, my, my real good friends, my loved ones. I enjoy making phone calls with them. But any other person, business calls, uh, strangers calls, uh, far distant relatives, people I'm not really close to, please don't call me. Send me a text. I beg, please, just don't stress me, please. I don't even have my ringtone on on my phone. Is that bad? Okay, you often spend a lot of time trying to understand views that are very different from your own. I 100% agree. In your social circle, you are often the one who contacts your friends and initiates activities. I disagree. If your plans are interrupted, you top priority, your top priority is to get back on track as soon as possible. I slightly disagree. I get distracted easily. I jump from wanting to wanting to wanting to wanting. Even when I talk, you guys notice it. Even when I talk, I digress a lot. I derail a lot. I segue a lot. <laughs> Seguing right now. Okay. You are still bothered by mistakes that you made a long time ago. Yes, I agree. Not 100% agree, but I agree. That's my mistake. I just like, yeah, whatever. But a lot of them, I'm like, why did you do that? Why did you do that? Why did you do that? What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? 
Okay, next one is, you rarely contemplate the reasons for human existence or the meaning of life. Um, I disagree. I actually do contemplate it. I do contemplate it. Your emotions control you more than you control them. I disagree. Not strongly, because sometimes I'm controlled by my emotions. Not strongly, but I actually do disagree. Because most of the time, I try to follow logic. I might be feeling like, I might feel like screaming. But I'm not telling myself, does screaming really make sense in this point? Don't scream, don't scream, hold yourself, okay? Maintain posture, okay? Maintain beauty, don't lose it, don't lose it, <laughs> okay? You take great care not to make people look bad, even when it is completely their fault. I 100% agree. I don't like making people look bad. I always try to salvage situations even when people are the ones that are pushing me even when i'm right in a conversation and the person is talking nonsense i try not to let them know i try not to make people if other people are there i try not to make people you know look bad and one of my pet peeves is actually people who try to make others look bad i don't like it okay or make others butt of their joke I, of their jokes i i hate it i don't like it the next one is you, you would pass along a good opportunity if you thought someone else needed it more. Um, yeah, I actually slightly agree, slightly agree, but yeah, I agree. And it has haunted me a lot in the past. Like, I would not be like, why did that? Why, did that? why just why? Why did you do that? Why didn't you just take up the opportunity? Why were you feeling sorry for the person? What's what? Blah, 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 blah. You feel confident that things will work out for you. I 100% agree. All things work together for my good, okay? Because I love God and because I'm a child of God and the daughter of the owner of the universe, like, <laughs> I'm not here by mistake. I am special. I'm God's child. I am awesome, okay? Things will always work out for me. Anyhow, even if things are looking, things will always work out for me, okay? So the next thing is to select my gender. And uh, yeah, I am female. And let's see the results, okay? Just a moment. <gasps> I am a mediator. <laughs> what does that even mean? But it's quite true. I'm actually a mediator. I don't know what all that means, but I'm actually a mediator. Like, I'm always in between quarreling people. I'm always in between people in, in between disagreeing sides. Okay, I'm always trying to, to balance things out. If that's what it means, I don't know what it means. Okay, INFP, INFPA, okay. So, down to the results. This one is for mind. It says this trait determines how we interact with our environment. And it says that I am 89% introverted. I 100% agree. The next one is for energy. This trait shows where we direct our mental energy. And it says that I am intuitive. And I 100% agree <laughs> it says i'm 81 percent intuitive i actually agree i think i'm quite intuitive and most times when i tell somebody to do this this way and they go and do the opposite it always backfires when my mind tells me do this this way and i do it the opposite it always it most times backfires not always i mean i mean that's what makes it it's one percent but it most times backfires nature this trait determines how we make decisions and cope with emotions so it says i am 52 percent feeling and 48 percent thinking yeah i agree to an extent okay even though yes i like to be logical i feel that my feelings for people actually clouds my not judgment like right so i go against my better judgment for people right yeah this trait reflects our approach to work planning and decision making so it says i am 65 percent prospecting and 35 percent judging i don't know what that means but okay identity this trait underpins all others showing how confident we are in our abilities and decisions it says i am 54 percent assertive and 46 percent turbulent um yeah i actually agree that i am quite assertive okay but it's not that high because i am not as assertive as i know i should be I'm not as assertive as I should be, but I am very, very confident in my decisions, in my mindset, in my personality, in my life, in how I do things. I'm actually more confident in it. It's just that I don't lodge, I don't lodge it over other people. Okay, so for instance, if I'm in a place and somebody is saying, let's do things this way, I don't shut it down, even though in my head I'm like, yeah, doing what I'm doing is nonsense, but I don't shut it down. I'm just like, okay, okay, let's try, let's try your way, okay? 
Okay, so let me just read a summary of the whole thing. It says, although they may seem quiet or unassuming, mediators have vibrant, passionate inner lives. True. Creative and imaginative. True. They happily lose themselves in daydreams. So true. Inventing all sorts of stories and conversations in their minds. So true. These personalities are known for their sensitivity. Mediators can have profound emotional responses to music, art, nature, and the people around them. I agree. Emotional, but not, not emotional, not, not, uh, yeah, whatever. Okay. Idealistic and empathetic. Mediators long for deep, soulful relationships and they feel called to help others. But, but because this personality type makes up such a small portion of the population, mediators may sometimes feel lonely or invisible adrift in a world that doesn't seem to appreciate the traits that make them unique. I 100% agree, okay? Because most times I feel like people see us as not strong personalities because we don't come either extremely assertive or extremely docile people tend to not rate us they don't rate us they don't know that we're actually very very strong and you know all that they don't, they don't rate us okay <laughs> the gift of empathy mediators share a sincere curiosity about the depths of human nature introspective to the core they exquisitely attuned to their own thoughts and feelings but they yearn to understand the people around them as well exactly mediators are compassionate and non-judgmental always willing to hear another person's story so true when someone opens up to them or turns to them for comfort, they feel honored to listen and be of help. It's so true. And a lot of people actually open up to me. Even people I'm not like, from where to where? What makes you think you can tell me all these things you're telling me, you know? Empathy is among this personality type's greatest gifts, but at times it can be a liability. Yes, the troubles of the world weigh heavily on me. Anyway, speaking the truth, few things make mediators more uneasy than pretending to be someone they aren't. Yes, I agree. With their sensitivity and their commitments to authenticity, people with this personality type tend to crave opportunities to create, to create self-expression. It comes as no surprise then that many mediators are poets, writers, actors, and artists. They, can help, they can't help but muse about the meaning and purpose of life, dreaming up all sorts of ideas, stories, and possibilities along the way. Strengths and weaknesses. Anyway, let me just summarize some things. Strengths and weaknesses, empathetic, generous, open-minded, creative, passionate, idealistic, I agree. Weaknesses, unrealistic, yes, I agree, I can be unrealistic sometimes. Self-isolating, yes, I can be self-isolating sometimes. Unfocused, yes, I can be very unfocused sometimes. Emotionally vulnerable, what does that even mean? Am I really emotionally vulnerable? um yeah maybe maybe not okay desperate to please uh, yeah sometimes yeah not to please but i'm desperate to not annoy okay i may not go out of my way to please you but i try not to go out of my way to annoy others so yeah um like i said it's not 100 um, percent uh, accurate but it's quite accurate okay self-critical yes i am actually very self-critical um yeah I, I'm actually more critical of myself than I am of others. When it comes to their social life, mediators may find themselves caught in a web of contradictions. People with these personality types crave a, a long time, but they are also vulnerable to loneliness. Okay, not really, but maybe, I don't know. They tend to feel accepted and well-liked, but they hate the idea of pretending to be anyone but their authentic selves i 100 percent agree um and while they hesitate to draw attention to themselves they don't want to be invisible either maybe that's why we tend to do things like this like youtube where you are visible but you're not so visible okay <laughs> you're like visible virtually but not really not really searching for a kindred spirit mediators are warm and accepting they all they don't always find it easy to make friends yeah this may be because superficial casual relationships can leave these personalities feeling a bit empty i agree i don't like friendships that 
are clearly going nowhere where all of us clearly know that we don't really like ourselves like that but i just pretend i hate it like is that we like ourselves or we don't and we move on i don't even like all those pretense okay we don't have to be friends we can just be acquaintances and, and the world is good don't call me trying to make small talk or trying to uh, be friends with me when i know that you don't really like me like that it, it, it's annoying okay friends for life when mediators befriend somebody they may secretly or not so secretly hope to stay close to that person for life these personalities are capable of strong stable relationship relationships marked by passionate support subtle poetic wit and a profound level of emotional insight i agree okay let's go for career path um that is a lot career path mediators long for a career that doesn't just take care of the bills but also feels fulfilling I agree, I agree, I agree. They want to spend their days doing something they genuinely love, preferably without too much stress or drama. This is too accurate. Without too much stress or drama, okay? That is why I resign from the bank. I don't want stress, I don't want drama, I don't want, I, I just want a very soft, sweet life, okay? Don't want stress. <laughs> That's why I'm a stay at home mom as well. I don't want stress, okay? I don't want to take over the world. I don't want to rule the world. Leave me and my laziness to myself. Because someone called me lazy in a video where I said, I don't take over, take over the world. Yes, leave me and my laziness to myself, Abby. I'm not, am I begging you for money? No, okay, then fine. You're good, I'm good, right? You guys, this thing is so long, but I'm going to leave a link to this in the description box. I'm going to go ahead and read it for myself so I understand myself better because it has a whole explanation and all of that. But I think it is too long for me to read on video, on camera. So um, you guys should go and check it out. Go and take the personality test for, test for yourself and see where you fall under. Um, yeah, so. But I don't know how I'm going to do this test for my kids right now because... How do they know all these things, you know? I'll look for a simpler test to take for kids and I'll do it for my kids so I'll know how to really, you know, uh, work with them, okay? Anyway, guys, I really enjoyed this. I really enjoyed finding out more about myself. So I am actually a mediator. Now that I know what it is, I'm going to study more about it so I can understand myself. I'm also going to try and take a percentage test for my children, like I said. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.